Hey guys, welcome back to Destroy It. Where we literally just destroy things. And today, we are destroying a CD slash cassette tape player. But before we destroy it, a little history on this player. So if you're younger and you're watching this, you probably don't know what a cassette tape is. Do you even know what a cassette tape is? Um, not really. I know it's like a tape. <laughs> So this is actually a VHS tape. So a cassette tape is about the quarter of the size, not as big and hefty as this, and it plays music or, you know, books or something like that. It's like CDs or Bluetooth on your phone. It just, it's another way to play songs on it. So the CD is actually short for the compact disc. It was made in the, on the 1st of October 1982. That is almost as old as our parents. Those things are getting old. And in 1982, this thing, you could buy something about half the size of this and it would cost roughly $682. And in 2012 money, that would cost $1,600 for a piece of equipment about the size of that much. It's crazy, and nowadays you can buy them for like, what, like $10 off of Amazon? It's craziness. <laughs> this used to be like thousands of dollars for this thing, and we're gonna go destroy it. Inside every CD player, there's a laser that shines on the shiny side of the disc that shows the bumps and the smooth parts of the CD that shows the music or the rhythm. So that laser bounces off the CD, picks it, picking up all those things, but each one of those bumps or the flat parts of the CD is actually telling the CD player what kind of sound to make. It's crazy. So how the cassette tape works is actually, so the inside of each one, there's two, two different spools. And the spools go together like this, and they send electromagnetic waves back and forth telling the cassette tape, how to play, or the cassette player, how to play the music. Enough about the history. Let's, Let's destroy, destroy it. it. Three, Three, two, two one, one, destroy it! button. See you next time on Destroy where we literally just destroy things. 